guys, it's Sky, and I haven't made a video in forever, but I thought since I should probably make a video, I thought I'd just have bring out Blaze and do a kind of video on him. Um, so this is Blaze. Oof. He's really awkward. Um, <laughs> he's big, too. Uh, he is a bull snake, and, um, I'm sure he has a morph. I'm sure he's a red bull snake or, like, a morph, but I, I'm not sure because I kind of just adopted him. He was given to me because he was aggressive. Um, and I thought I'd show that. Sorry, I hear my dogs barking in the background. I thought I'd show you guys that bull snakes can be just as tame as any other snake. They just need to be held with confidence and a lot of knowing that they're not gonna, they sh they don't have to be harmed. But um, a bull snake is a kind of big species of snake. It's not as big as, say, a uh, Colombian red tail boa, but they're way bigger than a cor corn snake or a rat snake. Um, actually, I'm sure some rat snakes get this big, but he's about six foot right now. And I just wanted to show you guys simply that when you're handling a bull snake, Sometimes they will hiss, but they're not going to bite, really. I mean, if they see you're nervous, then they might actually bite. <laughs> but usually they're pretty good, and he's just gorgeous. I'll, I'll see if I can get a close-up on his head. He likes to move around a lot. You can just see he is just gorgeous, and he is so tame. He is just a puppy dog once you get him out of his cage. He is cage-aggressive, which... I understand because he was fed in his cage pretty much all of his life, um, which is really bad. And I mean, I understand for breeders if they have to feed snakes in cage, but I personally, I actually try to stay away from feeding snakes in the cage. And um, a lot of people do feed, they'll just put the food in the cage, but I try to put them in a separate container so they get a little bit trained. And I do a lot of stuff with teaching kids about snakes. And so I don't want to have to reach in there and have them think I'm food or anything. And I don't want the kids to see that. So I want to make sure they're going to be friendly enough for kids to handle too. And uh, this guy, he's not, he's not, I would never put him near a kid because yes, he is unpredictable. I mean, all snakes are, but I don't trust him as much as I trust a few other of my snakes. Um, just because he is kind of large and a bite from him could really injure a little kid. Um, so I don't trust him with any little kids. But as far as me, I mean, I've taken a bite from him. And it hurt for a bit, but because he didn't want to let go. But after that, it's just quick and done. So I thought I'd show you guys him because a lot of, I, a lot of people get a lot of crap for bull snakes, but there's really no need for it. So, hope you guys liked the video, and just always handle a bull snake or any snake with confidence, and the bite's not that bad. So, also, I want you guys to go check out Brian from Snake Bites TV. I'll put his YouTube channel in the description. Go check him out and subscribe. Woof, he fell. Because <laughs> he's a really cool guy, and he does a lot of things with snakes. So, bye guys.